Have you ever wondered what the difference between a 556 or a 223 is? Well, in today's video, I hope to answer this question. In today's video, I want to see if there's actually a big difference between the 223 and the 556 in terms of steel penetration. To do this, I'll be shooting at mild steel plates ranging from quarter inch all the way up to one inch. Whichever one penetrates the deepest will be crowned the winner. First, I'll be shooting each cartridge out of this 18 inch setup right here. But if that's not enough, we'll move up to this 24 inch full length barrel. I think that this might give us some better results. This is the ammo that I'll be using in today's video. Let's start this testing off by seeing if a 5.56 and a 2.23 can go straight through a quarter inch plate. I don't think it should be much of an issue at all. Absolutely no surprises that it went straight through the steel, as you can see. That spalling does look pretty cool though. Well, I guess we should see if the 5.56 does the exact same thing, like I think it will. Well, would you look at that? Almost an identical hole to the 223. And the spalling even looks almost identical as well. I never would have guessed. So how's about we step the thickness of the steel up a notch? I really think that this 3 8 inch mild steel plate will give each cartridge a run for its money. Based on previous testing, I don't know if either one has a chance of penetrating, but I guess we'll go ahead and find out. Well, I'd say that one was just a little high. See, it kind of glanced off the edge there. So I guess we got to go back and try it again. Back to the truck. Well, would you look at that? It looks like this piece of steel is happy. Well, it looks like I hit just a little bit lower than that last shot there. But because of that bulge right there, we already know it didn't go the whole way through. So let's go ahead and test the 5.56 and see if it does any better. For those of you who aren't aware, this is a 5.56 and this is a 2.23. If we compare the two cartridges, you may be thinking to yourself, well, I don't really see any difference. And you'd be correct, at least on the outside. The primary difference between a 2.23 and a 5.56 is actually the pressure at which they're running at. So the 5.56 can run up to 58,000 PSI, whereas the 2.23 is limited to 55,000 PSI. This is primarily due to the fact that the 5.56 chamber has a throat that's 0.125 inches longer than the 2.23 chamber. This lengthened throat allows manufacturers to include up to one more grain of powder in the 5.56 loads than they would be able to do in the 2.23 loads, which is where that extra pressure comes into play. Let's go ahead and test the 5.56 to see if it does any better, though I'm not hopeful. I cannot freaking believe this, but the 5.56 actually made it the whole way through. Look at that. Guys, I am absolutely shocked by those results, and that was even out of the 18-inch barrel. Let's give the 2.23 a second shot out of the 24-inch barrel, though. Well, I've definitely been shocked before, and this is one of those times. The 223 went straight through with that 24 inch barrel. And look at that right there. Oh, oh, that is hot. Looks like we found the wad that it actually punched out. After doing some more digging around, I was able to find both of the steel slugs that were created by penetrating the 3 8 inch steel plate. Pretty cool. If you're enjoying this testing so far, I'd sure appreciate if you snipe that like button. I'd also recommend that you go and check out my website, link in the description below. I never thought I'd be saying this for standard 55 grain FMJ 223 and 5.56 ammo, but let's go ahead and step up to that half inch plate. I don't think either one of these cartridges has a chance of penetrating this, but I also said that about the last one, so let's see what happens. I'll be shooting each cartridge out of the 24 inch barrel to keep the results as fair as possible. Well, as I had expected, the 223 was not able to go through this half inch plate, as you could see by this little bulge here. But nevertheless, it was still pretty impressive penetration though. I really don't have any high hopes, but let's see if the 556 can make it through this half inch plate. <laughs> definitely no penetration, but the bulge on the 556 definitely appears to be a little bit bigger than the 223. So I guess it's time to take this plate back to the bench and see which one actually penetrated deeper. I think you know what time it is. It's time to grind.
I'll be completely honest, I'm not too impressed with what that 223 actually did, but let's see how deep it penetrated. Time to see just how deep the 223 actually penetrated. Looks like we got 0.299 inches. Compared to other cartridges we've tested, that's definitely not the best on the list, but given the low muzzle energy, that's pretty good. From what I could tell, the 556 definitely penetrated deeper than the 223, but let's see what that depth actually is. 0.423 inches. Guys, that is literally a full hundred thousandths more than the regular 223, which is pretty insane by itself. Since the 556 was able to penetrate the 3 8 inch plate with an 18 inch barrel instead of the 24 inch barrel that the 223 needed, I thought for sure that it was going to penetrate the half inch plate deeper. But I didn't know it was going to be by that much of a gap. If you want to see more penetration testing like this, let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks so much for watching today's video, and remember, don't let ballistics drive you bananas.